I went into community dentistry a number of years ago um, and I decided to do that after I'd spent a little bit of time in general practice. Um, and the reason I went into community dental service was actually thinking that there would be more variety. Um, working in general dental practice, I found that I was in the same place all the time. Whereas in the community dental service, I worked in several different clinics. So that meant working with different teams of staff, different sorts of patients. Um, and also I had the opportunity to go out um, and do home visits. Um, and at that time, do visits to schools. Um, so it meant that I was actually able to, to move around, to get variety, not to be stuck in the same place all the time, every day. Um, the other thing was, of course, it meant that I was working with some of the more disadvantaged um, members of society, and that actually is a very rewarding thing to do. I think um, the, the first thing I think they need to do is actually have got a broad, um, broad brush of experience, um, probably in general practice, maybe to have done a hospital job as well, um, so that they've actually seen what there is out there and they can then make a decision about whether they think they want to work in the community dental service based on um, having got some experience once they've qualified as a dentist. I think that's quite important. Um, the community dental service now is treating um, mainly adults and children with special needs. Um, and I think to do that, you actually need to have got a grounding in basic dentistry. So while you're treating the patient, you're not having to worry about the technical job you're doing. You, you have to know that you're able to do that confidently. Um, and then you can concentrate on actually your patient management skills um, because that's going to be really important. And I think for that, for the group of patients that we see now, um, you do need to be a confident practitioner because the minute you're not confident in what you're doing technically, I think the patients can pick that up and that then affects their cooperation um, that, with, with the treatment that you're doing for them. So, so I think I, I would, that would be my recommendation. I think the other thing is you have got to like people um, and you've got to really enjoy the communication side. You've got to enjoy getting to know about those patients as individuals because they will all be different and they will all bring different needs um, with them into the surgery that you have to take account of when you're actually doing their, making that, doing their treatment planning. Um, so I, I think that's important too. I think the challenges are that actually at the moment there aren't many jobs. Um, so um, because obviously reductions in the NHS have meant that, that whereas in the past in the community dental service there were quite a lot of jobs and it was relatively easy to get one, now there are fewer jobs so actually the services are able to be a, a, lot, more, um, a lot more choosy um, with the practitioners that they actually engage. So I think that can be a challenge. Um, and I think probably the other challenge um, is around, it can be around the flexibility that's required because actually in the service that I manage now, we expect our dentists to move around quite a lot. And that can mean not just moving, you know, moving a couple of miles down the road, um, it can mean being in, in two different parts of a city, for example. So it can require um, a degree of flexibility that sometimes people do find, find difficult and challenging. Um, having said that, opportunities, um, two big opportunities that I see. One is for actual personal and um, skills and competence development, because in community dental services we do take that really seriously. Um, and we often do a lot of in-house training, so rather than you having to go somewhere else to do training, if you're in a big service, we can actually get people to come into the service and do training with you. The more experienced and senior staff will do, do training, clinical attachments, all that sort of thing. So brilliant opportunities to improve your skills. The other really important opportunity I see, and it's something I'm very enthusiastic about, is the opportunity to work in a big team, particularly a team of dental care professionals. So most services will employ dental therapists. They will use their dental nurses to do extended duties, um, so radiographs, putting, applying fluoride varnish, that sort of thing. So it gives you as a dentist the opportunity to really be the team leader um, and to develop your clinical leadership skills. So I think that's a really, a really beneficial opportunity.